Well, there has been a horrific update at Fukushima. It was in my subscriptions. It's a video about this video. I'm going to show you the video right now. Oh, if it'll play. There we go. You're going to see a little flash right there. You can already see some smoke coming up from it. a flash it's gonna get a lot brighter but it's gonna be right over here now and there's radioactive smoke pouring off of it this is apparently Fukushima spent fuel pool number four which was the talk of the the media this week a lot of the activists were talking about this spent fuel pool number four and how nobody's gone into the building Seems to have spread from over here to there. Comments on this video have said that this is open air fissioning, according to export uh, expert sources. What that means exactly is. A new meltdown. So they let this spent fuel pool sit there for three years, didn't do anything about it. And apparently the fuel pool, the rods in it have come together. So now there is a new meltdown. And with the new meltdown, now we have this condition. This is, uh, that was yesterday. This is today, 521 from 11 to 12 o'clock. There's this constant precipitation. It's a very low fog, really. And it's so thick that it, it turns into water right there at these rain droplets pelting the camera. It's actually, um, I guess this is a playlist and it played through like four hours of this. I'll click the back button on the browser here. Twelve to one o'clock, same condition. 
1 to 2 o'clock, same condition. Three to four o'clock, same condition. It's actually, it's even worse. So now let's flash back to when they first connected the meltdown to the ocean, which was about August 20th of 2013, a little less than a year ago. This was the news then that Fukushima nuclear meltdown was boiling the ocean. And that's what you see this uh, aerial photo of. You know, perhaps this isn't an aerial photo. This might be on the on the ridge line behind the, the nuclear power plant. I would think it would have to be zoomed in in order to be on the ridge line. Anyhow, it definitely shows that there's a heavy fog, a steam coming off of the ocean. There were more uh, more pictures of it. I clicked into that website trying to find out what this is. I don't know if this is at the Fukushima nuclear power plant. If it is... This is evidence that they have dug a hole into the ground across over to the nuclear meltdown where then these, these whirlpools are forming by the Coriolis effect as the water is falling into the meltdown. It's then being boiled off from the nuclear power plant and what happened in Fukushima in the months following this news that there was the boiling of the ocean is that there began to become a constant steam that was rising from the nuclear power plants, the, the buildings that used to be the nuclear power plants. There's been some talk about the cause of the flooding in the nuclear power plants being just groundwater somehow avoiding the meltdown hole and coming up into the power plant. But what it seems to me is really the cause is that the water that's falling onto the meltdown, be it groundwater or the ocean water that they tunneled in there, is then being evaporated. Incidentally, this picture, it's nowhere on th this site. If you click the visit page, this picture is, is not on the site that this picture is linked to. So that's why I wasn't able to find any more information on it. Kind of looks like the nuclear power plant at Fukushima. The shoreline here. It's about what the shoreline looks like there. Anyhow. It was this picture of the, the boiling of the ocean. She really can't see it so well that it's it's just fog, fog in front of the power plant. A steam rising off of the ocean. Yeah, there was some speculation that what had happened at nu uh, at Fukushima yesterday, the uh, the burst of red, you know, which uh, other people are saying is open air fission, uh, otherwise known as a nuclear meltdown, that it um, it perhaps was the the nuclear fuel having melted into the molten lava. As they say, that uh, a nuclear meltdown does not stop on its own. It actually builds steam. That It grows in size, it grows in mass, and it grows in density. And so it's going to melt all the way to the center of the Earth. And when it, at 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit, hits the mantle at 3,200 degrees Fahrenheit, 
it is going to burst a super volcano by boiling the magma. But that doesn't seem to be what was shown today or uh, what they showed by the live camera yesterday at Fukushima. Instead, it seems to be this, which is the early days of the nuclear meltdown at Fukushima. That's what the nuclear meltdown looked like when it first happened. So, situation has gone from bad to worse, and now the air is going to be horribly tainted everywhere. But what this revealed to me today is that they're rigging the, the Geiger counter readings at Fukushima because with this new nuclear meltdown, there should be an enormous spike in the radiation. It was up to a uh, rounded 200,000 nano sieverts per, uh, per hour. That was back in December of 2013. And it came down to about 120,000 nano sieverts per hour. That was uh, the readings that, that it started to show last month. And this is what it reads today. At Fukushima Daiichi, 121,000 nanosieverts per hour. So there's been no spike associated, at least on NETC.com. There's been no spike associated with this new nuclear meltdown that there's video of occurring yesterday. And that spike, it should last for weeks. You know, the uh, the fallout of it, the plutonium and the uranium falling on the on the ground there. It it hasn't worked its way into the soil at all. So you know, until it gets washed out into the soil, then it's going to continue to be right there at the surface and radiating the meters. But they don't show any spike, and there was a comment on that video that a lady said that there was a huge spike at Chiba and that there was no spike at Fukushima when the event occurred. And they've apparently now rigged the meter at Chiba that they reduced it down to what the previous readings had been. So right now, <clears throat> apart from this uh, new nuclear meltdown causing a new global waft of plutonium and uranium, also, of course, cesium, radioactive iodine, radioactive hydrogen, there's going to be... Um, because it seems now that they, they are full force dumping the ocean water onto the nuclear meltdowns, you know, perhaps they, they are uh, fresh dumping ocean water onto this uh, onto this brand new Unit 4 meltdown. There's going to be uh, massive flooding. Uh, I was saying this last year, in August, uh, early September, about that time frame when I first heard of this uh, boiling of the ocean by the nuclear meltdown. When I had heard about that, I said obviously this is going to put a lot of moisture in the air and it's going to cause a massive rainfall and then Colorado in one week they had as, as much rain as they get in a whole year and so you know I had noticed it here also uh, it wasn't rainfall as much here but there was a constant fog for weeks and there was a significant amount of rain increase it wasn't like Colorado where yeah, you know, that's like the first uh, first windward side of uh, a mountain that the air gets compressed as it comes from Fukushima. So radioactive rain, there's going to be new uh, radioactive heavy metals fallout, 
which we haven't really been getting the radioactive heavy metals, has been like cesium and tritium and radioactive iodine falling out since they began to dump the ocean on it. But there's uh, there's not been there's not been a significant plutonium uranium fallout, which those are the very hot particles that you know they will almost certainly cause cancer. If you get a hot particle in you and you you don't somehow clear it out of you, it's like borax or baking soda or you know, whatever it is that you can use to break down that that heavy acidic plutonium the plutonium and uranium particles but uh yeah if you don't do anything about it you don't slough off the tissue with some food grade hydrogen peroxide then you will almost certainly come down with cancer for having breathed in one hot particle you know once you have the cancer forming also you know then uh it's a really tough tissue to to sweep from your body so it's very important to stay up with it you know, stay up with the cleansing and to not eat any of this food that's this fallout food you know especially what you would do to avoid any of the fallout is skin any vegetables that you're going to eat and only eat really thick vegetables with a low surface area so like eggplant uh, pumpkin you know, discard the the external the rind of the pumpkin, eat only the inside. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. A lot of people are coming down with cancer right now. And um, if you don't do anything to you know, mitigate the, the devastating effects of this Fukushima radiation, then you know, it is going to destroy you. Yeah, tell me in a month if there's not unusual levels of rain where you are.